Hey everybody, um, this video is for discoverlavish.com, which if, if you're not familiar, it's one of the leading um, luxury news blogs. It's got the great pictures, info, news on luxury cars, luxury real estate, fashion, um, all things luxury really. Now today's video in particular is going over my personal top 10 favorite luxury car brands. So not necessarily the most uh, expensive cars or the highest rated cars, but personal, uh, my top 10 favorite luxury car brands. All of these cars and all the pictures in the background of this video have been featured on discoverlavish.com. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely look into that. I'll put a link in the description to our blog so you guys can check out um, some more luxury cars and, um, and, and some more stuff as well. There's real estate, fashion, travel, um, celebrities, a lot of really good content on Discover Lavish. Um, this video is particularly just talking about my top 10 favorite luxury car brands. The first is the Rolls Royce. Um, I really like a white Rolls Royce, which is what I featured in this video in the beginning here. Um, that was a Rolls Royce Phantom, one of the top of the line Rolls Royces, um, one of the most expensive cars you could buy. Also, one of the most luxurious cars you can buy because it's completely, um, you know, made to order, handmade. It takes one of the longest processes to make a car is the Rolls Royce. So it's really like the number one car you can buy in terms of luxury. Number two is Ferrari. Um, now it's not really necessarily a, a luxury car; it's more of an exotic car. But I added it to the list obviously because if I had my top two choices for cars, a Ferrari and a Rolls Royce would probably be the two of them. Um, so Ferrari. It's a beautiful car. They're classics. They're like the go-to car for the super wealthy. Um, so they're they're nice. They're super fast, nice looking, and um, they sort of sell themselves. They speak for themselves. Now, number three is Lamborghini. Now, Lamborghini was actually started by a farmer who was unhappy with his Ferrari, and basically he wasn't happy with the service he was getting. So he went out and started his own. Um, exotic car brand and it sort of backfired on Ferrari a little bit because they'd stolen quite a bit of sales from Ferrari. Now obviously Ferrari is more the established name but Lamborghini particularly with younger millionaires is starting to really dive into that market share so sort of backfired for Ferrari but I added them to my list at number three. Number four is Bentley. Um, now Bentley is sort of similar to Rolls-Royce not obviously as luxurious uh, I mean, they have the Bentley Continental, so they're sort of trying to get into the sport arena. But they also have the Bentley Mulsanne, which is the super luxury, large um, sedan. Um, personally, I like both. Um, realistically, if I had to pick one to buy, it'd probably be the Continental, just because the, the uh, larger sedan is, is probably a little much for me personally. Um, number five is Mercedes-Benz one of my favorite car brands. Uh, now it makes it number five just because there's so much uh, you know, car brands above it. The Bentley, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Rolls Royce. Those are tough to compete with. For Mercedes, I really love their slogan of the best or nothing. Um, I like to try and think of that same slogan for my life and I, and I really like Mercedes. Particularly the S-Class of course. Um, it, but I mean I, I, I love most of the cars they make. Number six is Aston Martin, uh, probably one of the most underrated cars, uh, just because in terms of luxury space, most of the names that get talked about are the ones I've mentioned so far, but Aston Martins are really fast cars, they look nice, um, and they're actually not as expensive as some of the other cars I've mentioned, so that's something to keep in mind as well. A lot of people tend to forget about Aston Martin. Number seven is another brand that doesn't get as much recognition as it potentially should, and this is Maserati. They're making a huge comeback. Um, I mean, they have the Quattro Porte, they have the Gran Turismo. Um, they got the Maserati Ghibli, which just came out this year. It's supposed to be their entry level car. It's 70, 80,000, somewhere in that range or so. It looks like a really good car. I haven't seen it in person yet. I've only seen it online. Um, so I'm interested to see it in person. It might be a little too small for a four door for my taste, but um, it, it looks good so far from what I could tell. And Maserati. It's, it's probably the most attainable Italian um, sports car that you could think of. It's more attainable than the Ferrari and the Lamborghini for most people who are wealthy but not necessarily super rich. Um, next is BMW. Uh, BMW I like. I like their design. I like the way they drive. 
Um, I don't necessarily like them as much as Mercedes, so I'm more of a Mercedes guy. Uh, Mercedes, from what I have experienced, is, is more reliable as well. Um, but this video, I featured the BMW 7 Series, which is one of my favorite BMWs. It's a beautiful car if you've never been in one. Um, it drives unbelievable, so much room, especially in the back seat. It's a really luxury car. Um, reliability on it is pretty bad, but that's that's a whole separate issue. Um, number nine is Porsche. Uh, hard to have a list of top luxury cars without Porsche on it. They're just the classic sports car. Um, personally, I wouldn't necessarily buy it um, before I buy any of the other brands I mentioned so far, but it's just a classic I had to include it on the list. And number 10 is Land Rover, which has really taken off recently, which is somewhat surprising because they're consistently ranked on the bottom in terms of reliability and, and customer satisfaction. But I guess leases on it, you don't really necessarily have to worry about that as much. Uh, they, a lot of wealthy people have moved towards Land Rovers. They're really nice. They've stepped their game up. Um, the design is good. The inside is good. Um, and, of course, they're good for... Um, bad weather and hauling things and so forth uh, you know they're, they're big SUVs but in terms of the luxury SUV space they're probably one of the most popular um, again I don't know if I necessarily buy one just because of the reliability factor uh, but obviously the, the people that can afford these multi hundred thousand dollar Land Rovers not necessarily care about reliability as much as I am um, I care more about practicability as well um, but anyway, these are my top 10 favorite luxury car brands. I know I left some out, Cadillac, Bugatti, um, a bunch of others. But feel free to comment if you have a car that you think I missed or if you have a different list. Or And again, check out the description. I'll put a link for discoverlavish.com, which is the ultimate luxury blog online.